Hey guys, so this is going to be a little impromptu um, unboxing. Um, Debbie sent me a birthday package and it is looking quite Eastery. <laughs> and I love it. Oh, I love all these little bunnies. It looks awesome. Um, I'm going to pause and I'm going to take a look at the card really quick um, and I will be right back. Okay, so the card is very cute. It's got a little llama on it. Peace, love, and happiness. And a birthday blessing from the Dalai Lama. And you can see his name is Dolly. I love the card. Thank you so much, Debbie. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm sorry if I keep going out of frame. Debbie was just supposed to have sent me a card. Um, <laughs> you can see this is more than a card. So first we have Heal Genius uh, by Soap and Glory. Um, I don't own anything by Soap and Glory. However, I do notice it a lot. Um, I'm going to take the lid off here quick and give it a sniff. Ooh, and that smells really nice. And it looks really thick and creamy. Uh, so how can I do this here? <laughs> okay, so there it is. If we could focus. Yeah, that has a real nice consistency. And, oh, it smells really nice. Um, I can't describe the scent, though. It's another thing I'm not good at is scents, <laughs> describing them. But, oh, that smells really nice. Thank you so much, Debbie. And I know it's a thicker one because it's supposed to be for your foot. But, you know what? Sometimes these foot creams make great cuticle balms, too. So, um, definitely. And it's not greasy. I'm just having a hard time rubbing it in because I'm using my thumb to rub it in. Um, thank you, Debbie. Oh, this will get so much use, especially since I have I have a big crack on my on my heel. So hopefully this will take care of it. And I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to put the lid back on. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so this one here, I love notes. She wrote. You need these in your life. Oh, boy. Okay, so I am going to... Um, hang on. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to put the phone down for one second just so I can open them. I wish I had my setup here. Oh, these are the jewel. One of them is the Julie G. One of the Bohemian colors. I love the lids on them. And this one is called... Something... This one is called Eden. Now, this is what I would consider an ugly, pretty color. I don't own anything like this. It's like, um, I want to say it's like an olive green. or um, Yeah, I'm going to say it looks like an olive. This is really pretty, and I can't wait to try this. My Rite Aid and every Rite Aid around me has stopped selling Julie G's. And this is a Colors by LaRoe. And this is called Freeze Frame. And this is gorgeous. This has, it's like a blurple. And I can't tell because I can't swatch them right now. I'll, um, tomorrow, or well, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow I'll add swatches to this video. But this to me right now in the bottle looks like a blurple. And there is this beautiful blue shimmer in there. My goodness, Debbie, this one is gorgeous. Thank you. So this one here she wrote, now you and Claire can be twins. So I'm going to put this down and I'm going to open this and see how Claire and I are going to be twins. Oh, yes, I love nail mail. Oh, Debbie. Ah. Oh. Oh, look at this. This is another Colors by LaRoe. And this is called Hot Summer Nights. It's the Summer 2016 collection. And this is a gorgeous fall color. Look at that shimmer. Oh, I can't wait to swatch these. I'll probably end up swatching them tonight and just sticking in the clips of it. But wow, that's gorgeous. Debbie, wow, thank you. So, I have, oh, let's see. 
I just want to make sure. Okay, so she packs very well. I love how Debbie packs her packages. This one here, definitely hard to find. Enjoy. Debbie, Debbie, what did you do? All right. So these are, okay, so these are the Sinful Colors Moon Metals. And yes, these are hard to find. Um, no Walgreens have had these. Nowhere in my neighborhood have I found them. No Kmarts, no nothing. Um, I really wasn't certain I wanted to get these. Um, but now looking at them close up, I'm really happy I have them. Thank you, Debbie, so very much. <sighs> these are great. These will make a great addition to my sinful collection. I really appreciate that. Wow, Debbie, thank you. And then she has an oldie and a sassy. <laughs> so let's see what these are. I do believe that the one she is calling sassy, yes, indeed, is Revlon Sassy. <laughs> and this is a beautiful, um, I don't know, would this be considered chartreuse? Um, I'm not sure on how to describe the color, but it is gorgeous. And knowing Debbie, the formula is impeccable. So that is Revlon's Sassy. And then we have gray area now this is another color i probably would never buy for myself but most of the colors that you would never buy for yourself are probably the colors that look the best and how many times have i walked past and actually have picked this up i couldn't tell you because i mean i am drawn to the color so i pick it up and then i'm like mm, it's not gonna look good on me but i guarantee you that if you come across a color that you don't think is going to look good on you, grab it because chances are it's going to look good. And this is perfect. This is a great fall color. And I have nothing like this color in my collection either. So I'm very excited to try this one as well. Debbie, as usual, you outdid yourself. And I got to make sure all of this stays because I like to repurpose boxes and packing material so wow debbie thank you so much uh, this was really kind of unexpected especially since you said you just you know you wanted to send me a card uh i appreciate it this is much more than a card and these two colors by larrow this one especially for sure like i am such a sucker for shimmers and Oh, I just love shimmers. These are going to be very interesting to try. Um, I don't really think that they can become opaque on their own. I'm going to swatch them by themselves. And then maybe I will put them over... Uh, I don't know. Maybe a contrasting color. Not a contrasting color, but a light color. Um, and these two here. These are going to be great. These three, actually. These are going to be great. I know the formula on these is going to be great because that's what Debbie is infamous for. So stay tuned because I'm going to have swatches at the end. Debbie, thank you again so much. You really made my my day, even though, you know, my birthday is on the 3rd of September. You really made my day, especially since the 3rd of September is going to be my, my pup's one month being gone. Um, so it's going to be really hard for me, but I can put on one of these polishes the night before and be reminded that this nail community is so great and I love you guys and I can't wait for more collabs and our secret Santa swap. I can't wait. Whoever gets Debbie, you guys are going to be in for a treat because she is just phenomenal. So I'm going to end it here because... I'm like so excited and I really want to go ahead and swatch these. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. I love you, girl. And oh, just thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. And I hope you all have a great day.
Bye. So here are the swatches of the polishes that Debbie sent me yesterday. Okay. So I went ahead and I did two coats of each. Um, so this is the first one. And this is Starlight from Sinful Colors. And it's a gold shimmer base with some silver um, glitters in there that are kind of dimpled to mimic moon rock because it is from the moon metal collection so here it is over this is one coat over black and then one coat over it or sorry two coats alone and these really aren't that textured i really thought they were going to be more textured uh, some of them are i could feel some of them but most of them lay pretty flat so one coat over black and two coats by itself next one from that collection is Cherish Me. Same thing, a silver shimmer base with silver um, dimpled glitters. And again, I have one coat over black. And then I have two coats by itself. Next up is a blue version. It's called Pop Queen. And it's in a bluish jelly base. And I'm not sure if the glitters in there are blue or if silver, because some of them look silver. So here it is over a concrete gray color, one coat. And the glitters do look blue. And here it is two coats by itself. Okay, so next up we have, and this was a one coater, of course. This is gray area by the original Extreme Wear line. And I actually did two coats on the swatch, but it was a legitimate one coater. And it's, kind of like a plummy color to me. It's not really gray. It's kind of plummy to me. Okay, so next up, we have Revlon's Sassy. And funny story with this one, I actually own this and I destashed it a while ago. And then I saw somebody on Instagram wearing it and I was like, oh, why did I get rid of that? That is so pretty. So I'm so glad to have it back in my collection again. And here is two coats of Sassy. Next one is um, Eden from the Bohemian collection of Julie G. And I can see a lot of nice camo nail art coming up. This is two coats. So yeah, this is like a perfect camo color, which I love. So thank you for this one, Debbie. And then lastly, we have the two colors by LaRoe. And I didn't notice yesterday, but this has like a gold tinge to it. Every now and then you can see, you're not seeing it in the camera, but there's like gold glitters in there, gold shimmer. And this is Hot Summer Nights from the Summer 2016 collection. This is beautiful. This was pretty much opaque on one coat. Again, I did do two coats because I'm not a one coat fanatic. I like to put two coats on because... My nails aren't that, um, aren't that thick. They're not that strong. So I put the second coat on just for a little reinforcement. But this is beautiful. There's no top coat on these. So I can imagine putting a top coat on is going to make that shimmer come out even more. And then lastly, this truly is one of my favorites. This is Freeze Frame. And that's by Colors by Row also. And it is. It's like a grade... I can't describe the color. It's kind of like a grayed blurple, but it has this beautiful blue shimmer in there. Can't wait to see what it looks like matte. Can't wait to see what it looks like with a top coat. On a side note, I did get um, a few more polishes yesterday in the mail. Um, one of them is because of Debbie, <laughs> because I believe she bought it and swatched it. So this is this one from Hot Topic, and it is simply gray iridescent. And I have a very similar one already, which is this one by Maybelline. And this one is Cool Couture. Um, the Hot Topic one is actually better. So here is two coats of the Hot Topic. And it's a little lighter too. But I, I think it shows the shimmer a little better. And this is two coats of the Cool Couture. So definitely a favorite in my collection. And I bought that because of Debbie. So thank you again, Debbie. And then I bought two polishes off of a D-stash. 
um because i just had to this one here is far out from different dimensions and look at that friggin blue with the blue shimmer and here it is it does dry matte and i'm gonna rush through these because baby's getting fussy because she's finally getting awake this morning so i didn't top coat it so this is what it looks like just out of the bottle beautiful oh my god the blue and this other one is a Schlee polish and it's called Intoxicated. And it's got all kinds of, it's in a dark blue jelly base with all of these. There's a pink shimmer, there's multi-chrome flakes, there's opalescent flakes. It's just a mess and it's gorgeous. And here it is on the nail. So that is what Debbie gave me for my birthday. Thank you again, Debbie. I really appreciate it. I love everything. I don't know what I'm going to wear first. Um, I just, yeah, I'm overwhelmed with the um, generosity of the ladies in this nail community and the support that we all give each other. It's a wonderful thing. I appreciate you all so much. And thank you so much, Debbie, yet again. Thank you all for watching my channel and subscribing. And I will see you guys very soon with the next one I have today coming. Um, the whole Native War Paint Bear collection. So I may do a swatch and review on that next week. Uh, we'll see. Um, if not, well, I'll probably haul them anyway, but. So that's kind of like a swatch and review, but whatever, we'll figure it out. So have a great day, guys. Thanks again for watching, and um, I will talk to you all later. Bye.